Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to explain to you guys what nodes are and basically like the mining pools in Caspa. Hopefully explain that a little bit so you guys, you guys understand it. But before we get into that, let's take a look at price action. All right, so taking a look over here, you can see that Caspa had another run up again. And I'm pretty sure it's because we're finally expecting the uphold listing. I know yesterday's video, I put in the title that uphold listing today and then i commented down below saying that it actually got delayed again i don't even know if it got delayed but this dr martin over here has been just uh he's just been messing with us for a while now but uh today he actually announced that uh one he's been doing a countdown supposedly until caspa gets listed i'm pretty sure that's what it is before he made a tweet saying that cast day was going to be wednesday but as you can see it didn't get listed on uphold but today he tweeted out one he also tweeted out this picture right here which this is kucoin and supposedly caspa might be available on kucoin soon i don't really want to shoot that out there as like a fact but hey it looks like it's near uh, deposits on caspa are showing up um they don't let you deposit but it's just like the the interface is showing up but uh yeah so we're expecting uphold today we're expecting bitca tomorrow we're expecting cool coin in the future so just a lot of things happening for caspa i just think that this is super super early for caspa we still have not a u.s regulated exchange uphold would be our first one and still it's not one of the major players yet so in my opinion i think we're super super early our price has been consolidating very, very well here. I'm sorry. I'm just going to finally say I don't believe we're going to go under uh, two cents at all. We won't see it. I don't believe we're going to see it. But again, it always can happen. You know, just for sure, just be ready. I Like, I, like I'm always doing dollar cost averaging in. I don't really care about the price right now. As long as it's under five cents, in my opinion, I think it's an awesome buying opportunity right now. But do your own research. Make sure you understand your investment. And be safe out there all right so let's get into nodes so when we're talking about nodes in cryptocurrency there's a ton of different types of nodes after doing a little bit of research on this it's like there's there's something called a master node there's you know there's full nodes there's light nodes there's minor nodes there's a there's a whole loads of different nodes and ultimately i want to talk about the caspa node and kind of uh, compare it with bitcoin and how it's a little bit similar but um, just want to talk about the master node, which the master nodes are basically um, are part of, of the infrastructure that sustains cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dash. Unlike regular nodes, master nodes do not add new blocks or transactions to the blockchain. Instead, they verify new blocks and perform special roles in governing the blockchain. So there are several types of nodes that together form the infrastructure of the decentralized blockchains, uh, collectively providing transparency and security and running the software that implements a cryptocurrency rules and functionality. Nodes maintain the massive ledger of public transactions in a given cryptocurrency and verify new transactions. Master nodes can also play a specific role in the management and governance of the blockchain's protocol. So basically, we have here in the Investopedia, you can go ahead and take a look at this link kind of explains in more detail the difference between full nodes and master nodes but i'm pretty sure um master nodes operate basically right here master nodes operate on collateral based system meaning the operators need to own a significant amount of the cryptocurrency that's not what happens in bitcoin in bitcoin you do not need to hold a specific amount or if you do need to hold it i mean if you hold a specific amount it doesn't matter in ethereum if you hold a specific amount it actually does matter it actually gives you a little bit more power over the protocol which is not the right way to run cryptocurrencies because you're becoming more centralized and lets the rich get richer because these nodes they actually make an interest off of doing these nodes and bitcoin you do not make any money from running a node you're you're doing it completely free and if you're mining to your node then you can actually make some money but you have to mine to the node um but if you just run a node you're you're literally not uh gonna be able to make uh money off of that you're just helping keeping the network uh decentralized and secured so we have full nodes light nodes and minor nodes and going into uh caspa here we can see that caspa is a full node caspa full node tutorial so caspa is the ref is the reference full node program for the Caspa cryptocurrency network. By running a Caspa node on your desktop computer, you become an active peer in the Caspa network. By doing so, you can participate in the validation and propagation of transactions and blocks. In addition to contributing to the network security and decentralization, running a Caspa node allows you to directly mine to it in full solo without relying on mining pools. 
Running a Casper node is a rewarding way to engage with the Casper ecosystem and help support its growth and development while giving you access to some exciting features. And these are like the requirements that you need to run a Casper node. You can literally run this on your computer and then you can mine to your own node. And one of the biggest problems with Bitcoin that people like to say is a problem is the fact that Bitcoin, these are the pools. And when, when we're talking about mining pools, you have mining pools are a group of crypto miners who work together to generate new blocks. So basically, if your uh, mining rig is not making enough money, then basically you can mine to a pool where now the pool is splitting the money with everyone who's mining to that pool because the pool is running their own node. And then that's how you can actually be profitable instead of trying to mine by yourself completely alone. Because sometimes the hardware gets uh, it's lacking uh, competition. So once that happens, you have to mine to these pools. And a lot of people try to say that this means that Bitcoin's centralized because of the fact that, oh, you know, you have these pools that are, you know, controlling the whole entire network. If this pool goes wrong, then, you know, that means like they could just stop paying out to their to their miners and all that stuff, which it's happened actually many times. Um, Poolin, Poolin.com used to own like, like, I think around like 50% of, of the mining pool. And they stopped paying their their miners. They stopped paying them. And what happened to them? They're, they're literally non-existent. 1.2% is now being used by pooling.com. You see, people don't realize that this does not mean centralization at all. People can choose who they want to mine to. If, if people are mining to a pool and they're not getting paid, they're just going to leave. They're just going to leave. So it encourages the pools to be honest pools. So they're not going to be centralized. They're not going to try to be a... Uh, a bad actor or anything like that but when it comes to caspa caspa is built in a way so that we encourage solo mining which means that we get even more decentralization than bitcoin when it comes to the mining pools because now look at this these are the pools for caspa over here and this unknown pool I'm pretty sure is is all the solo miners mining to their own node that's why it's actually super cool to see that caspa is super decentralized it really is in my opinion it bitcoin and caspa are the only true decentralized cryptocurrencies in the space so um yeah that's basically how the pools work and how the nodes work and how they're kind of connected to each other that's the best way that um i understand them at the moment if you guys have more info on how all this works leave it down in the comment section down below Someone yesterday put a really good comment about the UTXOs, explained it really nicely, and I like that. I like to see those um, extra opinions and comments down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the uphold uh, listing. Do you guys think it's finally going to come out today, or are we going to have to keep waiting? I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. We're putting a video out every single day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.